Hello again, it's Kate. Uh, talk about a new tea that I found. So, um, last week on Thursday, we did Street Fair in town, and one of the vendors that was here from another part of uh, Nova Scotia was called uh, Sense and Sensibility. This is with them. Um, and I sampled a couple of their teas and picked up a few of them, and so I'm going to do some reviews of what I thought of them. Um, so I guess the first thing is, so this is an indie brand, they're all small um, batches, uh, they're all handmade, uh, their kind of focus is on uh, historical tea blends, so um, looking at different periods of history or different recipes of tea that are historically accurate, um, providing some of the context for them, maybe why that tea evolved at the particular time and place, and, um, and sharing those. Uh, the couple who was running it was very cool. They were um, they were in costume, um, and I found the place mostly because there was a Tyrannosaurus Rex in a top hat with a cup of tea drawn in chalk on the ground telling you where to go. So, um, very cool individuals to check out, um, and I will link their contact information for anyone who is interested in checking them out. I have four teas in total that I picked up. Um, the, um, they are the Prince George, Nefertiti, and... Wolf Spice and Ostentatious Blend. Ostentatious Blend is the one I will talk about in this uh, video here. So, um, I guess first off, this is what she looks like. So it's a black tea, um, and you can see there's some coconut flakes and the, um, I believe those are cranberries that are with it. Just let me take a look. Yes, cranberries. Um, so what they say about the tea is that it is a light afternoon tea. Um, it is black tea blended with coconut and cranberries. In the late Victorian period, coconut was not only considered a status symbol, but um, to have it, or status, bleh, status symbol to have, but it was also part of a huge health fad that saw coconut getting added to almost everything. So really not much different from today. Um, Really. Considered exceptionally healthy, um, it even developed a cult following. Coconut makes a rich addition to this smooth black tea blend, um, while the cranberry adds a hint of tart fruit to the flavor. Um, and this one is um, 1800s, so Austin's time period. Um, it brews up like a black tea. I'm just going to see if I can even get that in there. Um, and it ta it's a very, I found it was, it was subtle, it's not like an overpowering coconut flavor or anything else in it. Um, the first time that I brewed it up, um, I had gone in with a scoop and I had, the cranberries had settled at the bottom of the little bag it came in, so I actually didn't have any cranberries in it and it still tasted very nice. Um, it's a very much a smooth, mild black tea, um, very drinkable very tasty and yeah that was my thoughts on that one um and i will be doing reviews of the other ones over the next uh little while i'm on vacation for a couple weeks so there'll probably be a few more videos close together um yeah and i apologize if the color is doing something wonky i put in tried a new highlighter and it's really really bright and so the camera keeps thinking there's weird glare when it's actually supposed to be that way that's my my new highlighter. Anyway, um, yeah, so have a great one and let me know which, if you've tried this out, if you want me to try a different one or if you have any other uh, tea blends you'd like me to try and let you know what I think. Cheers!